After positioning the apparatus for fire attack, begin the in-cap procedures and engage the pump. This will be confirmed by two green lights on the dash. Set the wheel chalk and then don the appropriate PPE. Open the tank to pump valve and the discharge being utilized. Select the mode and increase your PSI to achieve your desired GPM. For a jump line, start at 100 PSI. If a water supply has not yet been established, locate your closest hydrant and be sure to flush it. Check it for good flow and remove any debris prior to making your connections. Attach the hydrant assist valve and a gate. Confirm that the hydrant assist valve is in the off position prior to opening the hydrant. Be sure to open your bleeder valve before sending any water to your intake. As you're opening your inlet, be sure to keep an eye on your master intake. If possible, mark the static pressure. Be sure to connect the nozzle and crack it open to provide continuous water flow. At this point, you can close your tank to pump. Be sure to be constantly monitoring your master intake and master discharge throughout your evolution. Per NFPA 1410, a single engine should be able to deploy an attack line, a backup line, and obtain their own water supply from a hydrant within 300 feet within 3 minutes.